humanity's progress towards awakening is most definitely picking up speed as the end of 2012 draws near. The influence of God's divine field of love enveloping the planet continues to intensify as more and more of you make the intent to be only loving, whatever the circumstances in which you find yourselves. You really can have no idea how powerful that intention is when held by so many of you, even though as a percentage of the planet's population it would appear that you are not so many and it could therefore be expected to have very little effect. But, love has enormous leverage. And it is that with which you are engaging so enthusiastically and determinately. Love is invincible, you know that, and now the truth of it is becoming quite apparent to those who wish to know it. Soon it will be impossible not to be aware of the almighty power that love holds and directs, as sweeping changes due to its influence come into effect all across the world. But, with your free will, to be blind to this is obviously an option for those who do not wish or refuse to accept the self-evident. That will be an unfortunate choice for those who make it, because the joy and celebrations that are about to unfold will perfectly heal even the most serious wounds and illnesses, physical and psychological, that plague humanity. You have been on a roller coaster ride long, slow, painful climbs to heights from which glimpses of a marvelous future could be briefly viewed, followed by a very rapid descent back into the grime of the illusory world. The end of this ride, however, is at the top, not at the bottom, and you are on the last stages of the final ascent. From there you will enter into the new age which has been prophesied, foretold, and promised since the moment of apparent separation from your father and from reality. Your high hopes and expectations are completely justified as you move through the final stages of your journey home. There is no reason to hold on to any doubts about the outcome that awaits you because the divine plan to bring you home to reality, which has been in progress for eons of earth time, is willed by your father, and what he wills is always achieved. Instead, hold on to and allow yourselves to meld with the field of love that surrounds you. When you meld with it you will no longer need to hold on because you will have made the decision to be an eternal and inseparable part of it, freed from the suffering and worries of the illusion and, therefore, constantly held in its loving embrace. In that state you share the love within you with all with whom you interact, inspiring and uplifting them so that they too may meld and integrate with that compassionate, accepting, forgiving, and ever-loving field, which is sweeping you along with it towards your heavenly honors and rewards. The shift in energy taking place all over the planet is truly quite astounding when you compare the present energy state with what has been typical over the last few decades. Basically, in the last three or four years many people have grown to realize the sad fact that inflexibility is not a sign of strength but of incompetence or unwillingness in dealing with complex issues that need resolution. It is now generally understood but frequently not by elected officials or those in positions of authority that open discussion by all parties with freedom of access to all the pertinent facts and information is the only way to achieve lasting resolution. Limiting the negotiations in a way that avoids dealing with the issues that divide the participants has proved ineffective, in fact quite useless. The divine energy field that envelopes you all, and that is affecting your individual energy fields, is leading to a softening of attitudes that is enabling respect for one another and a desire to find solutions that honor all involved to be suggested and discussed. This inspires trust and honors the integrity of the negotiators so that cooperative sharing of views can replace damaging strategies that previously divided you into winners and losers, where, in truth, no one really won. This remarkable change in your ability to perceive divisive issues in a clearer light is largely due to your collective choice to find a new way to relate to one another at all levels of society. And that choice is achieving a momentum that is unstoppable. Dishonesty, corruption, and dissemblance in discussions, negotiations, and relationships have now become generally unacceptable, and will soon no longer be used to distort arguments and conversations for the benefit of one and the disadvantage of another. The new age will be an age of honesty and openness never before seen on earth, and it will dissolve the last remnants of the fear and anxiety that has been an almost constant cause of distress in your lives. As you know, you were created perfect by your father, and when you awaken back into that state experiencing the beauty and wonder of reality love, honesty, integrity, harmony, and cooperation will once more be the standards by which you all live. 
there will be no need and no desire for the self-serving individual agendas by which so many have become ensnared, because all being one and fully conscious of that truth your desire, your intent, and your will are for the happiness and joy of all, because in reality there are and could be no other motives, thus ensuring that there are only winners. But of course in reality that word has no meaning all experience only undiminished exhilaration and jubilance. With so very much love, Saul.